Hi, it's Michael from Planet Naturopath. And in the last video, I explained what a comprehensive cardiovascular test looked like and why it's important not just to focus on total cholesterol number and LDL. In today's video, I'm going to talk about LDL particle size, plus two other key factors in, or key markers in testing your cholesterol. And they are high sensitive C reactive protein and apolipoprotein B. That's a bit of a mouthful, so I'll just call that ApoB from now on. Let's have a look at a test and I'll explain. This is what a comprehensive cardiovascular test looks like. And the top markers here are the irregular markers that are tested in a normal cholesterol test. So cholesterol, HDL, LDL. The main ones we want to look at today are the mean particle size. So you don't want a very small particle size Otherwise, that can increase your risk of cardiovascular disease. The small, dense particles can more easily get caught in the uh, cardiovascular wall and cause damage. And the other marker that looks at the LDL particle is apolipoprotein B or ApoB. And this looks at the LDL particle number. So in this case, you want it to be lower. So this person's LDL particle size is okay but they have too many LDL particles. And that increased risk of LDL particles is going to lead to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. The other key marker that we need to look at is high sensitive C-reactive protein. Often when you go to the doctor, they only check C-reactive protein, which is not sensitive enough. And the range is zero to 10. And you really want to be at this bottom end of the range around less than two, ideally less than one. This person here, they're at 35, so they're actually at an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. And some of the other markers I'll quickly point out here are the VLDL um, and the intermediate density proteins are also high. So having that high levels of small dense particles and high levels of inflammation is a recipe for cardiovascular disease. That's why it's important to get everything checked because in this person, one of the biggest keys to uh, addressing the problem is going to be addressing inflammation, not just trying to reduce down cholesterol. So that's what a comprehensive cardiovascular test looks like. Getting a test done like this can help reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease. By knowing which markers are high or low, you can address those areas. For some people that have high cholesterol, but all those important markers like particle number, particle size, inflammation are all low and they're at low risk of cardiovascular disease. And these are the people that can, don't need to go on statin medications. So if you wanna avoid medications and address the cause, getting a comprehensive cardiovascular test is the key. For more information, you can contact me at michael at planetnaturopath.com. Thank you.